So here R is a polynomial ring uh, in finitely many variables over a field K and M is a finitely generated graded R module. Then what is Casanova Mumper regularity of M? So this invariant Casanova Mumper regularity, this it, it is a kind of universal bound for important invariants such as the degree of minimal generators of CZG modules and the maximum non-vanishing degree of local congruences. So thus, uh, this invariant, it provides a link between CZG modules and local congruences. And as applications of this fact, uh, we have this one, that the nth CZG module, it is generated by homogeneous elements of degree at most regularity of M plus N. So, so this fact, so it says that when, when we know regularity of M, then we can actually bound the degree of the minimal system of generators of every CZG module. In fact, regularity of M, it can be defined in this way. So this is the smallest possible value such that we have this inequality. And in particular, when we take n equal to zero here, so then it is it is just m. And so in particular, we have that m is generated by homogeneous elements of degree at most regularity of m. And as second application, we have that regularity of m, it helps us to compute Hilbert polynomial of m. And this Hilbert polynomial, it is related to multiplicity and singularity. So uh, in fact, this is the main motivation to define this invariant. And I will elaborate these two applications later. So first, let me define what is Casanova Mumper regularity. But before defining it, um, uh, I should have uh, an example. So let's work over this polynomial ring. So this is polynomial ring in two variables over a field K. And we consider this ideal generated by X square and Y cube. So then if we consider this quotient ring R mod J, then it's minimal graded free resolution we can easily compute. So how to do that? So we start with R mod J and since it is generated by only one element, it is cyclic module. So we have this free module and then from R to R mod J, we have this natural projection map. We consider it's kernel. So this kernel, it is, it is said to be the first CZG module of R mod J. And uh, so here we should note that this kernel it is minimally generated by these two elements x x square and y cube, and it's uh, so their degree uh, uh, degrees are two and three. So these two and three this this will appear here. Okay, so this is a free module graded free module of rank two, and uh, so it is shifted copies of R. So it is shifted by minus two, and this is minus three. And then if we compose this to uh, map, we, we get a map uh, that is given by this matrix. And next, how to proceed? So we consider kernel of this map. By using the fact that this is a unique factorization domain, we can compute the kernel of this map. It is actually given by, it is generated by this vector. So now we should see what is the degree of uh, this vector here. So it, it is five. Okay, so this five will appear here, and why it is five? Because uh, see, uh, I don't know. So th this five graded component, it is just r of minus two five direct sum r of minus three five. So it is just r three direct sum r uh, two. Okay, so you can see that this uh, element it has degree five, and this five will appear here. And this map, then we get this map, and this map is injected. So in this way, we can get, we can construct a graded minimal free resolution of R mod J. And these are called different cells, and their uh, kernels are called CZG modules. So once we have this, then we can define what is uh, Casanova Mumford regularity. Uh, in fact, uh, it is due to Hilbert that over a polynomial ring in finally many variables over a field K, every finally generated graded R module has finite graded minimum free resolution like this. So there is a minimal free resolution, this graded minimal free resolution. And these are graded free modules. So that means uh, these are direct sum of some shifted copies of R power some non-negative integers. These integers are called graded Betty numbers of M. 
So once we have this free resolution, then in terms of this uh, free resolution, we can define what is Casanova Mumford regularity. So regularity of M, it is defined uh, in terms of these shapes. This is maximum of J minus I, such that I comma J, the better number of M, it is not zero. Here I is varying from zero to D, and J is varying over this set of integers. And we should note that for all but finally many J, this thing is zero. So this maximum, it makes sense, and we call it casanova mumford regulator. So since we have constructed minimal free resolution of R mod J, and also we know the definition, now we should compute what is regularity of R mod J. So it is maximum of, uh, it is in terms of the shifts. So this is the zeroth position, this is first position, second position. So what we have that this two minus one, that is one, and then this three minus one, that is two, and then this 5 minus 2 that is 3 so this is 3 and in fact we can compute regulator of j also because this one is j and this part if we consider this is giving a minimal free resolution of j so then the zero position this is first position and if we compute this then it is maximum of 2 3 and 5 minus 1 so this is 4 so this one is 3 and this one is 4 so this definition in terms of CCG modules it is due to Eisenberg and Goto in 1984 but originally this Casanova Mumford regularity it was defined in terms of local cohomology modules and now uh, let's recall the notion of local cohomology so here we consider a Noetherian standard gated ring. And suppose I is a homogeneous ideal and this is a graded R module. Then what is zeroth local cohomology module of M with respect to this I, this ideal? Uh, it is nothing but the collection of all elements of M which are annihilated by some power of I. So this power, it depends on that particular element X. Then, of course, this, this uh, one can prove that this is a sum module of M and if M is graded, then this is a graded sum module of M. And in fact, it gives a functor from the category of R modules to itself. And when we consider category of graded R modules, then it gives a functor from the category of graded R modules to itself. And this is a left exact covariant functor. So we can talk about its right derived functors. And local cohomology functors, <coughs> find to be the right derived functors of this. So once we have this local cohomology modules, we can define Casanova Mumford regularity in terms of that. So with same setup, we set R plus, that is the ideal of R generated by all the homogeneous elements of positive degree. That we denote R plus, this is the ideal of R generated by all homogeneous elements of positive degree. And what is end of M? M is a finally generated graded R module. So end of M we define it is just maximum non-vanishing degree of M. And then Casanova Mumford regularity in terms of local cohomology module, uh, it is defined in this way. So it is maximum of end of this thing. So when M is graded, then ith local cohomology module of M with respect to R plus that is also graded. And we can talk about end of this thing. So regulator of M, it is just maximum of end of this ith local cohomology module of M with respect to R plus plus I, and where I is varying from zero to dimension of M. So we have seen the definition of regulator of M in terms of CCG modules, and we have computed this thing. It was three. Now let's compute this regularity of R mod J in terms. Of, so by considering this definition. So if we consider R mod J, it is it is just this one. Here, 4 onwards, all the grade components are 0. So as an R module, this R mod J has finite length. So only 0th local cohomology module will survive and all other local cohomology modules are 0. And this 0th local cohomology module, it is just R mod J. So regularity of R mod J, it is simply given by end of this 0th local cohomology module of R mod J. And what is that? 
So it is S3 because this third grade component that is non-zero and four onwards, all the grade components are zero. So at least for this particular example, we can see that uh, these two definitions coincide. Uh, and in fact, uh, over any polynomial ring over a field, these two definitions coincide. A definition in terms of CZG module and, def uh, and definition in terms of local homology module. And so this uh, invariant, Casalumbo Mumford regularity, it was introduced by Mumford in 1966, who attributed uh, its uh, related result due to Casalumbo in 1893. So now it is known as Casalumbo Mumford regularity. The main motivation to define this invariant was to control when Hilbert function becomes Hilbert polynomial. So now let's recall the notion of Hilbert function and Hilbert polynomial for graded modules. So we considered again this polynomial ring uh, over this field K and so this is a finally generated graded R module. Now in this setup, this each nth graded component of M, this is a finite dimensional vector space over K. And Hilbert function of this graded module, it is defined in terms of that vector space dimension. So namely, this Hilbert function of N, it is just a vector space dimension of the nth grade component of M. And then it is due to Hilbert that there exists a polynomial with rational coefficients and an integer n naught such that this Hilbert function value it coincides with this polynomial value for all n greater than n naught. So smallest possible value of n naught for which we have this equality for all n greater than n naught. So that smallest pos possible value of n naught it is called postulation number, and this polynomial it is called Hilbert polynomial of m. So in general, we don't know what is postulation number, but once we know that, we can actually compute Hilbert polynomial of M. And this Casanova Mumford regularity, it helps us to give a bound of this postulation number, and hence uh, it helps us to compute what is Hilbert polynomial for a particular module. I, I will elaborate this later, but uh, first uh, let's see a few trivial examples. So again, uh, if we consider this polynomial ring in two variables over a field k and suppose this module it is just r itself then uh, uh, so this is the zeroth grade component this is the first grade component second so on and nth grade component its vector space dimension will be n plus one so this Hilbert function it is just n plus one and then Hilbert polynomial it is given by this x plus one and postulation number in this case minus one so from the very beginning, uh, this Hilbert function value, it coincides with Hilbert polynomial value. And if we consider this module, R mod XY, so we can see that one onwards, all the great components uh, have vector space dimension two. So polynomial, Hilbert polynomial, that is just constant polynomial two, and postulation number in this case, it is zero. And if we consider this one, we can see that four onwards all the grade components are zero. So this Hilbert polynomial that is just zero and postulation number is three. And next we will see how casanova mumford regularity helps us to compute uh, this Hilbert polynomial. It is due to Grothendieck and Serre, and it is known as grothendieck serre formula. So it says that the difference between Hilbert uh, function value and this polynomial value, it is given by this alternating sum. So this is alternating sum of uh, the vector space dimension of the nth graded component of the ith local cohomology module of M with respect to R plus. And if you recall the definition of casanova mumford regularity in terms of local cohomology module, it was defined, it is just maximum of end of this ith local cohomology module of uh, this thing plus I. So if we consider n that is bigger than regularity of n, then this graded component that is zero. So this right hand side that will be zero and we have this equality. We have this equality for all n greater than regularity of m. 
So at least the regularity of M, it gives a bound of the postulation number. And or in other words, once we know regularity of M, we can actually have this equality for all N greater than regularity of M. And now we'll see how using this equality, we can actually compute Hilbert polynomial. So uh, th this is the result that degree of Hilbert polynomial, it is it can be at most D minus one. So let's write then this polynomial in this way. This is a polynomial of degree D minus one and we just have to compute this coefficients. So what we do for that, we just consider D many values of N bigger than regularity of M. So suppose we know what is regularity of M. Then we consider D many values of N greater than regularity of M. And then for those D many values, we have this equality. We substitute those D many values here in this polynomial and then right hand side it is just vector space dimension of the nth grade component of m for those d many values so we can easily compute that so we know the right hand side so in this way we can have d linear equations and d unknowns so these coefficients these are the unknowns and so we have a system of linear equations so by solving that we can compute these coefficients and we can actually get the Hilbert polynomial and in fact, this is the main motivation to define Casanova-Mumford regulation.